Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free backup and synchronization tool that you could use on your computer to obviously back up your files or keep them synchronized. So it's called Simply Sync Backup. So this is the free portable version. There is an installer version if you actually want to install it on your computer. But this one you don't need to install, you just download it and run the executable whenever needed. And for the Pro version or the pay for version, it has additional features such as automatic updates and allows you to schedule backups where the free one does not. Okay, so once you open it up here, you have your main interface where you could put your backup jobs and choose the type of backup. So we have the common backup, which just does a copy from the source to the destination and will overwrite existing files on the destination. So let's say you updated a Word document and you ran the backup, then that Word document would get overwritten on the destination with the new version. Then you have the strict backup, which will delete destination files if they're not on the source. So let's say you have a Excel spreadsheet on the source, and then you delete that at the source, you run the backup, it'll also delete it at the destination. Then you have restore mode. So this is like a reverse backup in a way. So it'll copy files from the destination to the source, overwriting your source files. So let's say you, something happened on your source drive and a bunch of files got corrupted. Uh, you could do this and have them overwritten back onto the uh, source drive and restore them that way. And then you have the sync mode, which will copy the newest files from the source to destination and from destination to source. So it'll take files in both directions. So whatever drive has the newest files, uh, that will get synchronized over to the other side. Then you have some options here to use update method, skip copying system files, which you probably don't want to back up, and skip copying hidden files. Unless you do want to copy them, then you could uncheck them. Then you have your error log. You got some settings here. So this is where you can install the program. So that way you could just run it locally like an installed program, which is a perfectly fine way to do it. And then you have your activation options here if you want to activate it and then your scheduled backups. So this feature is here, but you will not be able to use it unless you pay for it. And then you could save your jobs. So I saved this documents backup right here to a file. So let's say I deleted it out of this list on accident. I could open it and load it right back in there. And then you have the save as option. And then you could edit your jobs too once you have them in there and remove them as well. And then up here you have some more menu options to load the backups, save the backups, you know, kind of similar options to what you see here. Uh, start error reports, clear error reports. So it's pretty much the same options you have down here. Okay, so let's make a new job. So I have documents, so let's do the pictures folder now. So you could also do FTP backups as well, by the way. All right, so let's do pictures. And we'll put this on the backup drive. So now when you choose your destination, ask you, do you want to append a subfolder with the same name? Because right now I have my backup folder with a documents folder. So if I didn't make a subfolder for pictures, it would just load them right in here by themselves. So I'm going to have it do so. So you can see it adds that to the end. And we just click OK. And now we could go ahead and run it. So let's look at the two folders here. So here's the pictures from the source. And then once the job runs, that'll make the pictures folder and back it up into there. All right, so let's go ahead and run it. All right, so that was nice and quick. So now you can see we have pictures. And then we have the same files here. Just like that. Okay, let's go back to documents. Okay, so now let's do a strict backup, so which will delete files from the destination if you delete them from the source. Okay, so here is the source documents folder. Here is the destination documents folder. So I'm going to delete this text file here from the source. You can see it's in the destination. So we're going to run the strict backup. So we'll start the backup. So it gives you a little warning of what it's going to do. You could have it not ask you again and just click on yes if you like. 
Okay, so now you can see in the destination, that text file is gone as well. All right, and then it should be pretty obvious how these methods work as well. All right, so as you can see, it's a pretty simple tool, but uh, effective at the same time. So if you just want an easy way to do backups, which you should be doing, uh, you should definitely check it out. So I'll put a link in the description where you can download Simply Sync Backup. And then if you want to do the scheduled backups, you could buy the pro version. I think it's only $20, so it's pretty cheap for what it does. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.